Hello everyone, today we're going to discuss why your clients should choose a non-recourse factoring. So, very often our clients, when selecting a factoring company, will choose a recourse factoring. Now, if you are not familiar with what factoring is, you may want to watch our other video about relationship between truck dispatchers and factoring companies. I'm going to link that below. Also, I'm going to link a video which I made quite a few years ago where I discuss five important factors when helping your clients select the right factoring company. And in that video, one of the points is recourse versus non-recourse. So what are the differences? Recourse is basically means that when your client will factor a load, if factoring company will not receive the money from any particular freight broker, they will come to your client and say, hey, sorry, we didn't get paid for this load. So now you have to give us money back or you have to pay us. And that what recourse factoring is. Non-recourse factoring means that once your client factors, factors a load with a factoring company, even if they don't get paid, that is going to be their problem. Factoring's, factoring companies problem. It's not going to be your client's problem. So what, what non-recourse factoring does, it eliminates financial risk. And yes, it is more expensive than recourse factoring. And what your clients may notice that when they talk to representatives of the factoring companies, which offer both options, uh, they will not be pushing a non-recourse option. Even so, they can charge a higher rate and technically earn more money because non-recourse makes them carry financial risks. With recourse, they don't carry any risks. Someone will pay them, either a freight broker or your client. However, with, with non-recourse, they are actually carrying financial risks. Now, for your client, I believe it is better because sometimes those non-payments do not happen for the reason of dealing with bad brokers. It may be because just some paperwork got lost or there was some sort of a complicated situation with the load delivery that maybe there were some shortages or damages and so on and so on. So if you know your client wants to have peace of mind, it is better to go with non-recourse and you know once they factored load factor the load and receive the money, this is it transaction is done for them. They don't have to worry about it. It becomes a headache of a factoring company. So for that reason, again, I am uh, advocating for non-recourse factoring. And I would, if your clients are asking you which one they should choose, you should definitely recommend the non-recourse. And with all that being said, we are going to wrap up this video and I will see you next time.